Inside the Billion Dollar mRNA vaccine race sparked by HIV. Some wars are fought in deserts or cities. Others happen in the blood, in silence, with no ceasefire. HIV is one of the longest battles in human history. It doesn't just make people sick. It rewrites their biology, hiding in the very cells meant to protect them. For decades, scientists have tried to corner it, only to watch it slip away again and again. But that relentless chase has had an unexpected side effect. The fight against HIV is now fueling one of the biggest technology races in medicine, the global push to master mRNA vaccines. And that race isn't only about HIV anymore. It's about diseases we haven't even met yet. Why did HIV, of all viruses, spark this competition? Who are the companies spending billions to win? And could this science change the way we fight every future pandemic? HIV is unlike most viruses. Once it enters the body, it doesn't just hang around. It merges with the DNA of your immune cells, hiding for life. This makes it nearly impossible to remove completely. The drugs we have, called antiretrovirals, can keep it under control for decades, but they don't erase it. That challenge, stopping a virus that mutates faster than we can adapt, forced scientists to think beyond the traditional vaccine playbook. Most vaccines work by showing the immune system a harmless version of the virus, so the body learns how to fight it later. But with HIV, by the time your immune system learns the lesson, the virus has already changed its appearance. That's why researchers turn to mRNA. What is mRNA? Messenger RNA is like a recipe card your cells can read. Instead of giving your body the virus, an mRNA vaccine gives it the instructions to make one, one small, harmless piece of the virus, usually a protein on its surface. Your immune system learns to recognize that protein, so if the real virus arrives, it can attack immediately. For HIV, this speed and flexibility are crucial. Scientists can update an mRNA vaccine's recipe in weeks if the virus mutates, the same way you might update software on a phone. It's one of the few tools fast enough to keep pace with HIV's constant changes. Who's in the race? The scale is enormous. Moderna, the company that made one of the first COVID-19 mRNA vaccines, is running multiple HIV vaccine trials with the U.S. National Institutes of Health. BioNTech, best known for working with Pfizer, has its own HIV program. Nonprofits like the International AIDS Vaccine Initiative are partnering with major universities and pharma companies. Funding flows from governments, private investors, and global health organizations, creating a multi-billion dollar research network. Why this race is hard to win? HIV's most stubborn feature is its diversity. In one person, millions of slightly different versions of the virus can exist. A winning vaccine must target the virus's conserved regions, the parts that rarely change. But those are often hidden, like a weak spot under armor. The goal is to train the immune system to find and attack these hidden targets. Some mRNA trials have achieved the first step, step producing broadly neutralizing antibodies that can fight many HIV strains at once. But translating that into full protection will take years of careful testing. Why it matters beyond HIV? This race isn't just about one virus. The strategies developed here are already influencing research on malaria, tuberculosis, Zika, and even cancer. If scientists can beat HIV's rapid mutation, they'll have the tools to create fast, adaptable vaccines for almost anything. That's why so much money is on the line. The first team to succeed won't just make history, they'll own the blueprint for a new era of medicine. Could the cure for one of humanity's toughest enemies also be the shield against the next unknown threat? Will the billions spent in this race give us a pandemic-proof future? And when we finally get there, will we remember that it all started with a virus too small to see, but too clever to ignore?